television company Western Army represents the most important news for today. Good day. 60 U.S. congressmen call on the country's leadership to hold Baku accountable for war. Fate of Armenia's border in 1920 at the conference in San Remo, Ashot Hayatunya. Shushin is a symbol of Armenian history, culture and courage, Ashot Hayatunya. Born in September 2020, the consequences of the attack of the peaceful settlements, Mahir Hayatunya. Major repair works will start in the memorial complex of the genocide against the Armenia. The consequences of war abroad in Ahal Kalak, family divisions and the rise of Russian influence. The ancient Armenian archer and bow are symbols of rich heritage. US 60 congressmen appealed to the country's leadership and demanded that Baku must be held accountable for war crimes. On the eve of the UN Climate Summit COP29, which is scheduled to be held in Baku, they called for accountability of the Baku authorities for war crimes, hostage taking and illegal occupations of the territories of Artsakh. The legislative body urged the State Department to take immediate steps to ensure the immediate and unconditional release of all political prisoners, hostages and prisoners of war, including in ethnic Armenians. In 1920, on April 24, Nissan Ramon David Lloyd George sent a project to U.S. President Wilson, where he proposed a Applied to President Wilson for the United States of the America to accept the mandate of Armenia within the limits given in the version of the peace treaty with Turkey. B. If the United States of America does not want to accept the mandate, the President of the United States is asked to act as a mediator in the issue of the borders of Armenia, as stated in the draft article. C. The article with the following meaning should be included in the reconciliation agreement regarding Armenia. Turkey, Armenia and the other contracting parties agreed to refer to the mediation of the President of the United States of America regarding the borders between Turkey and Armenia in the provinces of Erzurum, Trabzon, Van and Bitlis and to accept his decision on that occasion as well as any conditions that he will offer to the sea for an independent Armenia on the exit of the state. It's important to mention that Shushi being an integral part of our Armenian history has become a powerful center of culture, science and martial arts over the centuries. As in the thousand-year-old Armenian myth, this castle fortress has become a symbol of the courage and preservance of the Armenian nation with its power of defense. The towers, as if hinting, tell not only about the tragedies of our nation's journey, but also about the victories. The city of Shushi, decorated with nature flowers, reminds us of the power of our roots and the boundless beauty of the Armenian type. The magnificence of the church of Amena Perkit showing to the world the spiritual wealth of the Armenian nation. The ghost of the vanished gates tell me episodes of mist shrouded history, what happened and what will happen. The pubs are the only way to exploit of ancestors from the past to the present and the future. By reviving their brains, paralyzed by military defeats, nationally interweaving their present and the past, rediscovering the symbols and extracting the mysterious knowledge from our culture, our history and the spirit of our people, we will take possession of Shushi. Don't forget about glorious Shushi. In 2020, September, the enemy attacked the peaceful neighborhoods of Stepanakert, which were sleeping and enjoying their Sunday rest. The next stage of the invasive aggressive war of the criminal regime of Aliyev has begun against the Republic of Artsakh due to the imperfection of the management system, the incompetence of the military political leadership and many other reasons on the Armenian side, the defense failed on the borders of the Republic of Artsakh and the Republic of Armenia. There are many worrying consequences. I don't want to list them because we deal with them everywhere and every minute. But I have to warn once again about the fact that we are not learning lessons and repeating the same mistakes, conscious and unconscious steps leading to self-destruction. In the coming days, the overhaul of the Genocide against Armenia's memorial complex and the surrounding area will begin. Edith Agazoyan, director of the Museum Institute, said that during the construction and renovation the problem of drainage was neglected as a result of which the gables of the memorial were destroyed, causing the risk of rockfall. The foundation repair works will be carried out in two phases and will be completed before the events of the 110th anniversary of the genocide. The project also includes the improvement of the irrigation system. The foundation repair will be carried out by Bitec LLC. 
More than half of the families in Akhalkalaki have at least one family member abroad, among them mostly a man, who went to Russia. Seasonal workers being absent from their families for a long time over the year caused social and psychological difficulties. Clara Voskanyan, a 16-year-old resident of village Abdul, says that her father has been living abroad for 30 years and she often misses him. She has said that her life would be brighter if he, her father will always be by her side, said Clara. Not only family members, but also the community feel the consequences of going abroad. One of the residents of the village says that they have to turn to strangers to repair the house during the husband's absence. This situation also affects the socio-economic life of Georgia. Jaban Atenadze, the chairman of the board of the Union of Mesh Democrats, knows that mass exodus of seasonal workers drives young people away from Georgia and propaganda from Russia is spreading in the country. The absence of seasonal workers also deepens family divisions and increases Russians' influence in Georgia, which is particularly worrying. The ancient Armenian bow and archer, dating back to 14th, 12th centuries BC, are not only military tools, but also symbols of the culture and historical identity of Armenia. These weapons are symbols of the legendary bow of Haikunahapet, the forefather of the Armenian people and they reflect the military skills and craftsmanship of the ancient Armenians. The bow and archer were often depicted on ancient Armenian coins as symbols of strength and protection. Their image also appeared on the coins of other civilizations, which proves their influence in the region of Armenia. The recently published book, Armenian Symbols on Ancient Coins of Rome, covers this topic, emphasizing the importance of Armenian culture values in the context of ancient history. Dear viewers, this was all for today. I wish you a good weekend. Goodbye.